Let's integrate secant to the fifth power x. So the first question is, how are we going to break down the fifth power? And the correct way to break this down is, we are going to look at this as integral of secant to the third power x times secant squared x dx. And the reason is because we can integrate secant squared pretty easily. In the meantime, we have no problem with differentiating secant to the third power. And then once again, we have to do it by integration by parts. It's very similar to the secant to the third power situation. So to set this up, let me do it with the di method. d right here, i right here, plus minus sign. I want to differentiate secant to the third power. So let me put this down right here. I want to integrate secant to the second power. Integrating secant to the second power, that's tangent x. Very nice. And then to differentiate this, we bring the 3 to the front. Okay. And then minus 1. So we have 3 secant squared x. But then the inside is a secant x. So because of the chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of secant x, which is secant x tangent x. And let me just put it down like this. All right, let me go back to here. To produce the answer, we look at the product of the diagonal, which we all have. Secant to a third power x times tangent x. So let me put this down. Secant to a third power x times tangent x. And then the product of each row is still the integral. So we are going to have the minus, and let me put a 3 to the front, so the number can go outside of the integration sign. And let's see what we have. This is secant squared x times secant, uh, secant x, so we have secant to a third power, that's right here. And here we have a tangent, and we have another one here. All together, that's tangent squared x dx. And now what? Well, Look at tangent square x. We can use an identity for this, which that will give us secant square x minus 1. That's the same as tangent square. Okay? And now let's just, let me just focus on this integral. Perhaps I'll write on negative 3 this time first. And then this is still the integral. And then let's distribute the secant to third power into the parentheses. Third power times second power, we have total together secant to the fifth power x. And then secant to the third power times that, which is just minus secant to the third power x dx. And this is like saying I have negative 3 times this integral, and I'm going to break down this integral into two pieces. So for the first one, it's going to be negative 3 times the integral of secant to the fifth power x. Let's close it by putting the dx. The second one is going to be negative 3 times negative, which is plus 3, integral, and we have the secant to the third power x, dx. Notice this right here is a repeat of the original. And this right here, I have a video for that, so if you would like, you can check out this video right here. Okay? Just click it, you'll see it. So now, I would like to do it like this. Let me just bring this down. This is the original, the integral of secant to the fifth power x dx, and as the part of the answer, this is secant to the third power x times tangent x. And that's what we're looking at. Well, let's just add this on both sides. So I will need to add three integral of secant to the fifth power x dx so that they will cancel out. I will have to do it right here as well. So three and plus the three, secant to the fifth power x dx, okay? And what's this? This is like 1 plus 3, which is 4 integral of secant to the fifth power x dx. And this is just part of the answer, so let's write it down. Secant to the third power x tangent x. And what's this? Well, if you watch the video already, this is going to be, um, let me just write it down somewhere. I think this is okay, so let me just write it down. This is the same as 1 half um, secant x tangent x plus 1 half ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x, okay? But then we have a 3 in front, so it's going to be plus 3 times, times that. So what do we have? 3 times that is plus 3 half secant x times tangent x. And then 3 times that, we have plus 3 over 2 ln absolute value 
secant x plus tangent x. Okay? And now what? We don't like this board. So let's multiply one over four on both sides. So I'll do like this. So I'll multiply one over four on the right hand side. So one over four and the four will cancel, and the final answer will be the integral of secant to the fifth power x dx is equal to distribute the one over four into the parentheses, of course. So we have one over four secant to the third power x times tangent x, one over four times that becomes plus three over eight secant x times tangent x, and one over four times that we have plus three over eight ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x. Close that, put a plus c at the end, and then this right here is our answer. Okay?